Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Train Sim World 2020. Once again, we're checking out the Canadian National. Uh, we're going to be driving the GP38-2 today, uh, and we're going to do the equipment move. I was going to do some of these other ones, but they're all in the yard, as you can see, and I just would rather get some open track going. And yes, we know Train Sim World 2 is coming out this year and we're going to talk a little bit about that today all right the equipment move is what we're doing today welcome to the hamilton yard as part of the trip north please attach the three something okay that was really quick they didn't give us any time at all for that Let's set the train up check out the gp beautiful 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 all right this is the one we want to go up yes it is hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and your week is off to a great start I had a good one had a good one. All right. Close the door if we can. Yep. There we go. Wow. Look at this. It reminds me of like a DC-9 uh, cockpit, the color of that blue. Uh, let's get everything set up how we like it with our number lights and all that stuff. Uh, and then we can get going. Class lights we're not going to worry about today. Big thanks to you guys that were telling us about what those all are. That's really cool. I appreciate it. I do love learning about that stuff. And in here with the class lights, you can see they're all the way here on the, the left. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to put ourselves into green uh, in the front all the way. We're not going to worry about anything else uh, as they are obsolete anyway. But uh, that's pretty cool. All right. Let's start doing the things they want us to do. Engine run on. Uh, generator field is on. And the fuel pump goes to the on position. We'll put the reverser handle in there. And uh, they want it all the way forward. You got it. Set the brake cutoff. Uh, sorry, cut out valve to freight. I always say that cut off instead of cut out. There we go to freight. And then automatic brake to release. We'll just change it to there and we'll release them. There we go. Throttle up and get moving. You got it. Throttle one there. Let them know that we're doing that. All right, bell is off and uh, we're ready to get rolling. Throttle two. We're going down here 357 yards to begin with. All right, we're going to be stopping here at this location. And there's something on the tracks down there. We'll see what that is in just a minute. Just adding some brakes, coming to a stop. And we'll make them happy with that. There we go, full application. Uh, a couple to the formation. The rest of the train. All right, about to connect to this train right here. Fantastic, got a little bit of break. And should be, wow, that was really close. Really close, but no cigar. A little bit more power than that. There we go. Wait for a moment and uh, go via location. Hamilton Yard departure. With switching complete, set the track for the journey north. All right. You got it. We're just going to let our train go by here. We got four locos, five locos today. My Lord, that's a lot of power. That's quite a bit. Go via location to Bayview Junction. And we got another line rolling in here right off our nose. Check that out. He's taking those auto racks. And he's got some other ones too. Nope, those are something else. I don't know what those are. Those are cool. Adding a little bit more throttle here. We've been cleared up to 30 miles per hour, and it's uh, 50 in a mile from now. But uh, we got a green line all the way as of right now, and I checked everything, and it seems to be okay. Check those out. That's a cool view right there. Pretty darn neat. Uh, okay, up to six, and we are uh, moving finally. That wasn't so bad setting up. It, uh, it's, it's, it's been much slower paced in the past. That is for certain. Uh, so let's talk about Train Sim World 2. That will be coming out. Um, it's going to be 25 euro or 24.99 euro. So 25. Uh, and some new things are going to be like a livery designer. They're going to have a scenario editor, which is pretty cool. Uh, we got an approach uh, here in point six. So it's going to be slow down to 40. But we're going to be 30 is probably why the reason they have us set to what we are right now slow down here and double check our line because we just had a switch happen right there yep we're on the right one I double checked it to make sure but we are definitely okay there all right add our throttle back in we're just kind of coasting along no big deal uh, so 
that's going to be a thing. We'll get into the technical details of it here in a little bit. Uh, let me make sure get our windows open. There we go. One thing they did say, which is kind of sad in my opinion, is that there's no improvements to sound. I, that's that's kind of crazy, isn't it? You're going to have a brand new game and you're not even going to change any sounds or, or even just say that we aren't touching the sound. So maybe they're not able to get any better samples than they already have or something to do with that. I'm, I really don't know. All right. Via location to Bayview Junction. We're just keeping the speed up for right now. Everything's okay. All right, we've been cleared up all the way to 50 miles per hour. So we're going to go ahead and throttle on up 3.1 miles uh, to our stop at Aldershot Yard. So we got a little bit of time here. No problem. So let's talk about some of the technical details of what's going on in Train Sim World 2. Um, it's, they, they said something about a nine month. It took nine months of work to update the game to the new Unreal Engine version. So they're going to be on the new Unreal Engine. If I don't know if that uh, means that we're going to have better performance with the physics and whatnot, but that is one thing uh, that will uh, be happening. Uh oh, we're on a switch here. Is that right? Nope. 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 I have a feeling we weren't supposed to do that. Oh, uh, we should have been on automatic brakes. All right, they're having a switch all the way over to the left hand side. Okay, well, that would have been good to know, but let's go ahead and release everything uh, and get rolling again. But yeah, we definitely got in trouble for speeding on that one. My God, add some power. I was reading things and I wasn't paying attention. So, oops. Turn that off. Don't need that bell on. Add a little bit more power. I know there's a train coming down the line right now too. Um, so no RTX support. Uh, the minimum specs for the game are unchanged. Uh, there's going to be better engine optimization and efficiency. So I guess it's part of the new Unreal uh, that's going to help out with that. Uh, one thing that is fantastic is that uh, Rail Driver and Hotas or any direct input device should work. That is great to hear because I have a Rail Driver. haven't been using that in forever. And I've told you guys that it's been kind of upsetting that we couldn't do that. Um... Dynamic skies doesn't mean dynamic weather uh, and no thunderstorms, sadly. Uh, lighting's been reworked, but no changes to shadows. Uh, and uh, longer trains and high speeds are now possible. I guess it was a limitation of the current engine. They couldn't uh, get uh, what they wanted as far as performance and the physics all working together. And that makes sense. So that's pretty crazy. Uh... When I'm talking about an editor, I don't think that you're going to be able to do that. It's a uh, it's like a timetable service mode. Uh, we're going to have that. Um, but they haven't said much more than that, really. But still, no editor uh, to create your own routes and environments and stuff. We'll have to see what happens. I'm, I'm keeping an eye on what people are saying on Steam. Uh, that's where I'm getting this information from, uh, as well as the information they've released. But I had everybody telling me, Jeff, Train Some World 2 came out. I'm like, no, it didn't. And uh, I went to go look, and no, it didn't. Hello, Mr. Train. All right, we're just putting along here at 15 miles per hour. 2.5 miles to Aldershot. So they have confirmed that user content created with the Scenario Planner and Livery Editor will not be shareable. Because it wouldn't work on all platforms consistently, they say. Hmm. I don't know, man. I feel like we're just kind of like stuck in a box that they give us when it comes to Train Sim World. But we'll have to see. I'm staying optimistic for now. If we can get better performance, that'd be great. Um, I didn't see anything in there about VR, which is kind of upsetting. But we still don't have VR. But uh, I'm going to keep digging while we're doing this little run here and I'll let you know if I find anything. Well, one thing we can say is that they will have a livery uh, designer. So you'll be able to uh, have 500 layers of decals, uh, 40 shapes of decals, 
Uh, you can save and select your paint job anytime you want. AI trains will use either your custom liveries or the stock ones. There's some more gray areas on it uh, about the preserved collection. Uh, you'll have to download them again for Train Sim World 2. Ownership of relevant DLCs will be automatically granted. If an update is made on the Train Sim World 2020 DLC preserved collection, it'll only be applied to preserved collector or uh, per preserved collection for Train Sim World 2, not on the original branch. So it's 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 a mess, guys. Did you expect it to not be? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm trying to be optimistic about it, but uh, it just seems like it's been a while. But you know what? We're gonna get rail driver support, and that alone will make me upgrade. Okay, don't have to switch that at all. We should just be able to go straight on in to our stopping position. Yep, we're looking good here. It's keeping it right around 13 miles per hour. She's holding pretty well. So one thing they're talking about with the physics engine is uh, with the uh, Train Sim World 2 uh, is that the proprietary Simugraph vehicle dynamics engine has evolved, adding realistic adhesion physics for the first time. Feel the wheel slip and wheel slide in adverse weather and the added challenge of control on steep inclines. Optimized and upgraded visual fidelity also gives Train Sim World 2 dynamic skies and 4K support. So that is something to uh, look forward to as well. Key features is what we're going to be looking at here as we roll into our platform and we'll turn our bell on for that. Uh, explore famous routes with the unique challenges. Uh, the Bakerloo line. Uh, the I'm going to try to say it. Schneifel Farstrecke, whatever. Uh, uh, the Sand Patch Grade. Um, and then you have trains. I'm going to turn that off. We don't need that. We would. It, realistically, yes, but let's all, for sanity, not have to deal with that. Um, it features iconic locomotives to master. The classic 1972 Mark II stock on Bakerloo Line. Modern fast commuters like the DBBR406 Ice uh, 3M and DBBR442 Talent 2. Uh, and powerful haulers with the AC4400 CW, GP38-2, and SD40-2. Uh, so ones we've seen in the DLCs already. Talked about the livery designer, scenario planner, drive what you want, where you want is plan out your own scenarios, quick drive your way. Like I said, you can't share those. Uh, then Haitian physics, we got that. Dynamic skies, we talked about that. Multiple lay uh, cloud layers, realistic sunlight filtering, uh, greater fidelity for the skies. Um, and then you got journeys. We've seen those before, tutorials, and uh, powered by Dovetail Games, proprietary simigraph vehicle dynamics engine and Unreal Engine 4 technology, everybody. Wow. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's to me, Train Sim World 2021. Um, but if we're getting an updated engine, I can uh, I can get on board with that. Like I said. So we talked about Train Sim World 2, but when can you get it? The planned release date at this time is August 6th of 2020. So seven weeks from now, you'll be able to grab it and uh, I will be picking it up so I can show it to you. See if it's uh, worth, you know, picking up uh, versus, you know, the other options out there. There are some other ones you got, you know, the uh, trains and, and things like that. But uh, I've always gravitated towards Train Sim World just because of the graphics. And uh, that's basically it. 200 yards. Let's go ahead and start putting some initial reduction into the braking line. And we'll release using those automatic brakes. It doesn't take a lot to stop this train at this speed, which is great. So we're just taking our time getting there. We got some graffiti over here on the right hand side. Check that out. Pretty darn cool. All right. Monitoring everything. It all seems to be fantastic. This has a different uh, ditch light option on it, which it already had them on by default. I was pretty surprised by that. Some more initial reduction. Slow her down, release. For those of you that have been asking about X-Plane 11, it will be returning. I am doing a campaign uh, coming up for Thrustmaster very soon, um, and it's gonna be a lot of uh, hands-on with that. So let's go ahead and add a service to the whole train. Come to a stop, make them happy. Objective completed. 
Radio L55732, you'll be making an additional stop at Aldershot Yard to replace one of their switchers, which has suffered a failure. Oh, great. Okay, we got to uncouple the vehicles. Make sure we're at idle on the throttle. Hop on out. And uh, 54 yards back there to that guy. Mm, open. Close the door. Close the window. Whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Hop on down. And let's take care of the problem. Okay, we're going to uncouple right here, it looks like. I'm fine with that. Oh, come here. There we go. It's unlocked. Wait for a moment. Aldershot yard north. 260 yards. All right. The slow speed stuff. I'm going to make you sit through that. All right. We're going to go to idle throttle now as we're only 200 yards away from our stop. And we'll start adding a little bit of independent brake here. Start slowing her down. We're not blazing in here at full speed. That would be ideal. I have a feeling we're going to be adding those to our train. That seems to be what we're doing here. A little bit further. There's actually a really nice profile here we're on. Because there's three locos on our uh, train right now. And this is working out just fine. I think they might allow it. At least a little bit more independent brake. And we'll come to a stop. They should be happy here. That's what they say. Yep. Uncouple the vehicles. The rear GP9RM. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Thank you for the help today. Bye-bye. You guys will have a good switcher there. All right. Back to what we were doing. So... We're giving him one of ours is what's happening. We don't have to connect that to our train. I also got 500 yards to go. Close that door. Get back into our seats. And we're just kind of merrily rolling along here at 13 miles per hour. I uh, found the gauge lights. We can turn those on. There we go. Now we can see our gauges. How about that? As the sun is starting to go down a little bit on the right there. I don't know if it's actually going to, but it always feels like it is anyway. We've talked about that every time. And, uh, yep, couple to formation, the rest of the train. We have that grade helping us out a little bit here with the speed, hanging around six miles per hour. We're about here to the formation. See the little red lights. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to idle on that. That's going to burn some more bleed some more speed off there and we'll couple at this here by just adding to the independent brake like that oh man that was a slammer that was a slammer today go via location to burlington let's get some speed in this bad boy we're getting all the way back over to the right hand side and then once we clear this yard we're going to be looking pretty good when it comes to speed as what i saw before on this track it looked like they're going to allow us up to 95 miles an hour, which is insane. Go down a little bit more for that little turn there. Fantastic. The only problem we've had so far with speeding was uh, that little track change that caught us off guard there. But at least we weren't going really fast for that. All right. They're going to let us all the way up to 95 miles per hour. Adding a little bit more throttle there. Watching our amps climb and stabilize. And we're going to get some speed out of this sucker, finally. 1.4 miles to Burlington. And that's just via location. That's not a stop. All right, we're at run eight. Throttle's going. We're looking good. Finally getting this baby moving. Got the bell on right now. Moving through a station here. And we're not even close to that speed yet. And now we got 3.5 miles to Appleby.
Wow, we are at 88 miles per hour there, Marty, and now 89. 1.7 miles to Bronte uh, with 1.6 miles to there, uh, like I was saying, but 1.1 miles to a green. Just still hitting these. I'm talking right now, but I've been hitting all these uh, different crossings. Look at that. 90 miles per hour. Go via location to Bronte. And uh, 0 0.6, we've still got a green line all the way. It's 95 through here. That's just insane. I'm going to go ahead and throttle back to 7 here as we're going to be blowing right by this train. And standing up and looking at what it's like to go by this train at the speed is insane in the second man's seat. Look at that. Wow, man. That is nuts. Pretty darn cool. This is the fastest I've ever gotten to go in a freight train, I must say. But I'm liking it. We're at 92 miles per hour now. We'll see what it says here uh, after Brante. This is a station, so we're blowing through the station at 93 miles per hour. Go to throttle six now. We are absolutely cruising right now. This is amazing. 3.2 to Oakville. Feel that bell. We hit about 95 miles per hour there, but one mile to a 30 zone, so we're slowing her down now. We're going to start adding uh, some independent brake. Not independent brake, but uh, sorry. Let's release the independent brake. Uh, automatic brake. Let's start adding some more of that. There we go. And she's slowing down pretty darn good, but I wasn't expecting a 30 to come up so quick. However, she's doing all right here. But more 85 there. We are really, really bleeding some speed off. We're going to be speeding a little bit here, I think. Almost. Full service on that. Oops, didn't want that much, but that's all right. Oh, my God, I think we're going to make it. At least there. Look at that. <laughs> Man, we were cooking there for a while. That was awesome. Absolutely amazing. That's probably one of my favorite things I've gotten to do in uh, Train Sim World so far. All right, throw it down about three here. Look at that. That's cool. Pretty darn neat. We got a station here. And holding right around 30. Still via location, though, so we'll see what we get. We got 15 in point nine. I'll go ahead and slow that sucker down then. That's 30 exactly. Some initial reduction on that. Beautiful. And we'll release. All right. Much better. I killed the bell for now just because it drives us nuts having that on the entire time. Stop location at Oakville Yard in 1.5 miles. 0.7 to the 15 and an approach signal at 0.6. All right. They're slowing us down and I know why they're doing it. Making sure that the independent brake wasn't on as well. Uh, it's because we got to get all the way back over to the left into the yard. And we're going to make sure that those switches are set up as well. Someone was very nice and they got all our switches where we needed them. How about that? That is pretty darn cool. All right. 15 mile an hour right up here by these signals. We're going to be pretty much right there where we need it. A little bit more of initial reduction and then release. That should be just enough to get right over here. Throttling up a little bit here as we are in a 15 mile an hour zone still. 800 yards out to our stop. And like I said, we're getting all the way over from the right to this track. That's why they wanted to slow down so much. But everything else should be good. If we look here, uh, these are going right on into the yard. A OK. -O, and that's wonderful. I love to see that. All right, we have made it to the Oakville Yard. A little initial reduction here. I'm going to get it slowed down more than enough to stop right on it. Time that one out just fine. There we go. All right, time to secure the train. Our favorite thing to do. 
set the reverser to neutral. You got it. We make sure we're at idle on that guy. Reverser goes to neutral and uh, automatic brake goes to handle off. So we'll make sure that we do that. Uh, let's just do it manually. Grab it and put the handle off. Oop, not emergency. Handle off, please. There we go. Disembark the train to complete this duty. That's it. All right, let's do the other stuff. We'll turn these guys all off. We'll turn the gauge lights off. Neutral on that guy. If we could remove that, that'd be great. I don't think it's going to let us. Nope. Okay, and the lights uh, are set to medium. I want to turn them off, but okay. That'll... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's pretty much all that we're going to do today for that. We could do some more stuff up there, but uh, we're going to make them happy. Do our thing. All right, port a cabin. There you are. Let's see what we got here, folks. We got... Uh, come on, gold. I know we sped a little bit. We got a gold. All right. There we go. Man, look at that speed. Right up there on the line is what we were at there. But uh, fantastic stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, take care of yourselves and each other.